On to another looming crisis and the nationwide doctor's strike entered its 11th day today with the situation in public hospitals getting worse by the day. Well, a spot check established that patients seeking health care services in public hospitals continue to suffer as normal operations are paralyzed, forcing families that have the ability to transfer their kin to private facilities. The Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union maintains that the strike will be scaled up with doctors planning to stage demonstrations from Tuesday to Thursday. Marianne Yambura reports. At the Nakuru Referral Hospital, patients seeking emergency services on Sunday were left stranded. The disruption in provision of healthcare services occasioned by the doctor's strike getting worse by the day. Usually, patients would be received at the accident and emergency unit by medics. But here, the emergency section remained unattended. The doctor's strike that is on its 11th day, Sunday, has also affected the family of Helen Karioki. Their 70-year-old dad, who is hypertensive and diabetic, has been at this hospital from Thursday. Three days in the wards with no doctors on site and with his health deteriorating, the family made a decision to transfer their patient to a private hospital in Nyahururu. Tukaona ya kwamba hapa sasa mahali mefika, hapa ni mahali abapo tunaweza sasa ata ruzi mgonjwa wetu. Kwa hivyo ni jabu abalo linahuzunisha sana, mahali unakuja ukiwa na matumaini ya kwamba utaweza kupata yale matibabu abayo inafaa. More families continue to seek alternative options for their patients who are admitted at the Nakuru Referral Hospital. John Mutai, whose two close relatives are admitted here after they were involved in an accident on Saturday, says the patients are in agony. Jumoja ameumia ukimuguza pande ya bega hii ya kulia kwa shingo hivi. Anapiga nduru. Yule mungine mkono wa kulia aliumia na amefungwa. So ilikuwa mesemkana kuna chuma anataka wekwe imsupport. Similar situation is replicated in most public hospitals countrywide. As the government and the union maintained hardline stance, the situation is set to get worse, with the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union announcing that doctors will not return to work until the government meets their end of the deal. Doctors say they will stage demonstrations from Tuesday to Thursday to push for their demands. This coming week, we go to have a demonstration in Nakuru, in Kakamega, in Migori, in Embu, and again in Nairobi. Because without having these issues solved, no amount of political rhetorics, no amount of threats, no amount of propaganda, no amount of bloggers are bought to dissuade the direction will affect this. Council of Governors Health Committee Chair Mutom Injuki has called on doctors to soften their stance and return back to work. Governor Mudomi says the effects of the strike on patients is devastating, but his Nairobi counterpart Johnson Sakaja told over 160 doctors in Nairobi to return to work or face the sack. If you're a doctor and you're interested in working in Nairobi, be in hospital. I told them that on Thursday, on Friday, I had 60% of them reporting back to work. They came back to work. Monday, the Mandika Barua, you have 40%, what will be Kama on Ataka Kazi. Kama Ataki, Kuna Wengi on Ataka Kazi, a doctor. The first attempt by the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union to hold talks with the government failed last week. Doctors now say they will remain relentless in their quest to ensure the government fulfills its demands. In the meantime, Patients continue to bear the brunt of the ongoing standoff with no end in sight. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV, at the Nakuru Teaching and Referral Hospital.